So Kendall dropped the bomb and then vanished. She didn't, uh, she didn't tell Myrtle where she was headed. She just packed her bags and left. Uh, you have to find her. Now, we want, we want this handled close to the vest. No publicity, no leaks. Just bring Kendall directly to me. Wait, is there a problem? I'm afraid that I can't explain all the details right at the moment. We already know. This is our second shot at this case. What? What are you talking about? N Nick hired us. Nick? What would Nick know? My mother. Of course, my, my mother. Erica, Erica, getting upset all over again. No, my mother was hiding something. You know she was. I mean, she's the one who, who called Nick and got him to come here and, ha and do her dirty work for her. He's the one who broke into Kendall's room. Well, I don't think Mrs. Tyler knew we were on the case. Of course she knew. What I don't understand is why I didn't know. I don't understand why nobody told me why I'm the last to know. I mean, Myrtle Fargate knew about this before I did. We didn't think there was anything to know. Yeah, we thought it was a false alarm. Well, Kendall isn't... Who knows where she is? This is not a false alarm. Erica, we went down to Florida. We met with her parents, her adoptive parents, the Hearts. Bill and Alice. And what do they say? Well, we asked them if Kendall was adopted, and they said no, and we, and we believed that. Yeah, they were very sincere about it. They were emphatic. I, who knew? I mean, the, the way we approached it, we, we told them that Kendall had filled out on her form, her application for enchantment, that she was adopted. Yeah, which they categorically stated was untrue. So we flew back to Florida, and I mean, back from Florida, and told Nick, and no relation, case closed. Well, I can't understand, then, why my mother suspected Kendall. The, bir the birthmark. What birthmark? Kendall had this birthmark on the back of her neck. Just like your baby had. I, I never saw my baby. Erica, we're really sorry. Look, we didn't think there, there was anything going on here. If I had had one ounce of proof that Kendall was your daughter, Erica, I would have told you. Well, look, I don't want to hear this. I, I don't want to hear any more apologies. What good do apologies do now? Why couldn't someone have told me something in time? Instead of lying to me, everybody sneaked around behind my back for weeks. My mother, my, my friends, everyone except you, Dimitri. We're sorry. Well, this whole thing has been just totally mishandled, just botched from day one. Well, of course not anymore. No, no, Erica, don't. No, let me go. Dimitri, Erica, come on, leave no, me alone. Erica, no, you can't do this. Dimitri, I have to get Kendall back. I mean, leave me alone. No. Dimitri, I have to get my daughter back. Let me go, Dimitri. Let me find her. Well, that's what Charlie and Haley are for. Oh, they've done such a great job so far. Haley and Charlie have done their best. We'll make it up to you, I promise. Well, darling, you can't do anything until she's located. How soon can you get started and what's your price? This one's on the house and we can start right away. We guarantee results this time. Look, step one, we'll contact her adoptive parents in Florida. I'm sure she's headed back home. I, I have the number. Oh, let me call them. I can handle this. I can at least handle a phone call with the people who raised her. Anyhow, they're partly responsible because they told her who I was, but they didn't tell me that no, they told no, her. No, that's not right, Erica. Mr. and Mrs. Hart didn't say a word to Kendall. Well, tell me something, Myrtle. What else don't I know? They did not tell Kendall that she was adopted. She heard them talking, and it was quite by accident. And what she overheard, she kept to herself. When she got older, she took matters into her own hand, did her own digging, and found your name on the adoption papers. She didn't tell her parents? Not a word. Well, still, still, they may have heard from her. Do you have the number? Thank you. Mm. Uh, yes, hello, Mrs. Hart. This is Erica Kane, Kendall's employer. Oh, she's mentioned me. That's very flattering. Thank you. Um, no, no, no. It's just that uh, Kendall and I seem to have had a, a misunderstanding, and I just don't know where she is right now, and I thought perhaps she had called you. I see. Well, Mrs. Hart, uh, if she does call you, would you please tell Kendall that I want her to call me immediately? She has my number. 
And please, Mrs. Hart, please tell her that I have something that I, w I want to explain to her. And I would like to discuss this in person. Well, I... I don't want to lose your daughter. I think she's wonderful. She's been invaluable, truly. I... Yes, thank you very much. You too. Bye-bye. No, uh, Kendall hasn't called Mrs. Hart, and uh, she doesn't have a clue. So what do we do now? Erica, uh, I checked her room, and the only thing I found there was, it was this, this old doll that she she wanted. We'll check the bus stations, the airports, all possible routes of escape, okay? We're going to find her. You can uh, reach us at the hospital if you need to. Please tell me everything. If you have one lead, I want to know. You got it. We promised Bianca that we took her in. Okay. 